Hey there, it's Amelia, and in today's video, I'll show you seven magic shortcuts for Canva presentations. These one key shortcuts are available when you present in Canva. I absolutely love PowerPoint as the ultimate presentation tool, but Canva is so easy and so fun, especially with these magic shortcuts. To create a presentation in Canva, just select create a design and then select presentation. If you have your own graphics and theme in mind, you can certainly create your slides from scratch, but for design inspiration, I recommend starting with a template. You can select a template on the left, browse through the categories, or use the search bar here to narrow down your search. Let's go ahead and search for business templates. As you can see, when you hover over the templates, you can see the different pages within the templates. I'll go ahead and select this template. And as you can see, I have the option of adding just one slide or all 10 pages. I'll go ahead and add all 10 pages. And then we can see the different slides on the right here in a larger size. There are so many advantages to using a template, not only for design ideas, but another advantage is that there are already lots of placeholders for images and text, etc. You could easily edit these placeholders and then your presentation will be done in no time. Some templates even include sample content for you that you can leverage and even create your presentation faster. I'd like to show you a presentation that I recently created and I'll be demonstrating the shortcuts using this presentation and we'll need to click present to be in presentation mode. And I'll select standard and click present. So this is a presentation that I created using a Canva template. This template already had sample content, which I modified. Then I added some of my own content, including my own text and pictures from Canva, and I was quickly able to create a presentation, which I then turned into a mini course. Now, without further ado, let's get into the magic shortcuts. The first shortcut is how to blur a slide. Sometimes when you're presenting, you may need to pause and take the focus away from the slide, perhaps at the beginning of the presentation or in the, in the middle of your presentation. So by pressing B on your keyboard, you can blur a slide for as long as you need and then press B again to unblur. It's as easy as that. Next, let's say you have a slide that has a special message or you are celebrating something. You can press the letter C on your keyboard to add confetti. And I would suggest trying it out and pressing it several times. And what you'll notice is the confetti either is in a different shape or it may appear in a different direction. Next, let's say that you want to add a drum roll for a special slide or section in your presentation. Just press D on your keyboard for an animated drum roll with sound. And then the animation continues and then press D again to remove the drum roll animation. This next magic shortcut is new in 2022. Press M on your keyboard to add a mic drop animation. Now this is uh, preferably something that you would add to the end of your presentation, but you can certainly add it anytime or for demonstration purposes only. After the animation is finished, just press M again to remove the images. Next, how about some animated bubbles? Just press O on your keyboard to add a 10 second animation with bubbles. You could even mix animations. For example, if I press C for confetti, while the bubble animation is playing, you can mix and match as needed. 
Next, a shortcut. Perhaps it's noisy around you while you're presenting, or maybe there's an exercise slide you are presenting, and you need everyone to be quiet. Press Q on your keyboard to display a shh emoji animation. And when you're finished, press Q again to end the animation. Finally, this last shortcut can be something you could use at the beginning or the end or even in the middle of a presentation. It's a curtain call animation. And it's also a new shortcut, brand new in 2022. Just press U on your keyboard to animate closing curtains and press U again to open the curtains. Leave me a comment and let me know which magic shortcut is your favorite. I also wanted to mention that this presentation that I'm showing you, which I turned into a mini course, is available on my course platform, ameliagriggs.podia.com for free. It's a seven minute video and I also have a quiz and a FAQ. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to smash the like button and click subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. If you'd like to learn more about Canva, check out my new Canva course, which has step-by-step -step instructions, downloadable PDFs, and bonus videos. Check out the description below for special deals on my Canva course. Bye now.